The Centers for Disease Control is sounding the alarm about a dangerous fungus that is spreading across the nation, including here in the state of Ohio. Yeah, what's concerning is that this fungus is apparently drug resistant. That's never a good thing and could be very dangerous for a certain population. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is at the desk now to answer our many questions about this. First of all, what are the symptoms? Like, how, how might you know that this could be infecting you. Well, I want you to know that this is not a plot from the HBO <laughs> series, The Last of Us. No, this fungus is actually a yeast that behaves like bacteria. And no, you will not turn into a mushroom, Jay. So, Good. however, though, this can be very, very dangerous to the most vulnerable among us, those with weakened immune systems. The fungus is called Candida auris or C. auris. They're usually finding it in long-term care facilities where people are on ventilators or need ports or feeding tubes. The fungus can get into the tube and then cause blood poisoning or sepsis when it gets inside someone. But it can also be found on the skin. And keep in mind, this is not a new fungus, but now it is drug resistant because of our overuse of antibiotics. I don't want people to panic about it, um, but we need to go back to the fundamentals and make sure that we're using the appropriate antibiotics and from the healthcare setting um, and that we're washing our hands and, and making sure that we're uh, not spreading it from person to person. So if you have a loved one in a long-term care facility, you should ask what prevention methods they have in place to address this issue. Also, this fungus is very difficult to identify. Ask if they're even looking for it. And if your loved one is on antibiotics, Dr. Ryan says, discuss if they are really, really needed with the provider. Mm -hmm. And according to the CDC, right now there are only 79 cases in Ohio, and ODH hasn't given us a breakdown of where those cases are yet. But cases are on the rise across the country about a third of people who become sick with CRS die. And while it is not a threat to healthy people, healthy people can easily spread it, which is why proper hand washing is still a must, especially if you're coming in contact with someone who is vulnerable. So yes, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Is there a connection with this fungus and global warming? Yeah, isn't that crazy? But yeah, yeah. That, um, that several studies uh, have shown already that climate change alters attributes and even the genetics of fungus. And they can, if they can live in warmer environments, which that's what we're starting to see, they can become even more dangerous to humans. So we keep hearing, it sounds like a sci-fi movie. You know, as the planet heats up, it's melting the ice caps and, and viruses and bacterium and all kinds of things that have been dormant for millions of years may start showing up. Oh, yeah. That's hmm. the concern. Okay. Let's pretend, let's, let's keep it in Hollywood though for now. And wash yeah. your hands, wash your hands, wash, wash your hands. Wash your, I yes. can't say it enough, yeah. really. <laughs> I know.